It's your Bubby Z back at it again and today we'll be playing a little MTG Arena. I've cooked up a really devious little mono black mid-range deck. Let's go ahead and look over the list. Let's go. We do have three copies of Cutdown, three copies of Duress, two Bitter Triumph, four Deep Cavern Bat, three copies of Go for the Throat, four Graveyard Trespasser, four Preacher of the Schism, two copies of Gix Yogmoth Praetor, three Liliana of the Veil, two Archfiend of the Dross, two copies of Shieldred the Apocalypse, three Phyrexian Obliterator, and one Gix's Command to round out the list. For the mana base, I'm running 18 Swamp, one Takanuma, three Cavern of Souls, and two Field of Ruin early game you're gonna be just trying to disrupt your opponent with the duress and the deep cavern bat just basically taking all of the gas out of their hand uh, if they do manage to get a creature or maybe a planeswalker on the battlefield you can absolutely cut down go for the throat or bitter triumph all that mess I love the interaction between Gix, Yawgmoth, Praetor, and some of our other cards like the Preacher and Shieldred. Anytime a creature deals combat damage to an opponent, you may pay a life draw a card. Same is similarly true with the Preacher. It attacks if you have the most life or tied for most life, draw a card, lose a life. So if you have a Shieldred on the battlefield, anytime you draw a card, you will be gaining two life. Phyrexian Obliterator here, you know, black, 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 black for a 5-5 five, five Phyrexian Horror with Trample. And whenever a source deals combat damage to the Obliterator, that source is controlled sacrifices that many permanents just good all around just just good stuff all around PHB what is good all right opponent goes first this hand is pretty poopy we'll try to keep there's no way to get the obliterator on turn four though there's like no way I would really like to draw a duress if we could draw into a duress that'd be really really cute oh, of course not all right drop the land hit him with a little hello Red, white. I'm sure here comes something. Yeah, we're pretty much uh, Phyrexian into a bat. Sure, I mean, these are all nice little cards. All right, he plays the booger. Another little booger. No blocks, dude. You got me. Ouch. Enchantment creature. All right, play a land. We'll go for the throat. The the bird. Attack for one. We're up to 18. Lord. Lord, have mercy. Our mana base is dick. Yeah, we probably need to take these field of ruins out. You're absolutely right. Sure, we take some three ouchie damage. He's got one card in hand. Like, what could it be? Let's take a peek. I want to know. Wow. It's a fing oh. land. Okay. We're going to actually pay three life and kill the Aganjo Exemplar. Swing for one. Okay, opponents in 19. We're at 13. Yummy indeed. Our hand sucks, but, um, let's cut down the Iron Apprentice. Drop the Gix Yogmoth Praetor. Go ahead and attack for two. Okay. I don't mind losing that life because we gained that life. Drop a Swamp. That is what we was looking for, baby. Sure, he gains a life. Cavern of Souls naming a uh, vampire. Actually, if we just name Phyrexian, it makes it easier to throw down a booger head. All right, but let's go ahead and smack the opponent for five. Draw some cards, of course. It's just the name of the game, dude. Um, and I'm feeling nice, so we'll go ahead and try to obliter obliterate her here. We have to hope the opponent doesn't have like a sunfall or a... Yep, here it comes. Destroy target creature with toughness. Oh! That's a pretty good card too. That's a pretty good card. Create a 1-1. One -one. Wow. Okay. Pass to attackers. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I'll try to cut down. I think he's got a little something, something. No, no, no nothing. Okay. Five damage at the Archangel, three damage at you, one damage at you. So five at you, five at the Angel. 
Yeah, we'll draw at least two cards. And then we'll decline. At this point, the opponent's probably f So let's just get a Liliana down and make him discard a card. We'll discard our own uh, Trespasser. I don't really need two of them. Now we'll end the turn. There's no way to lose, I don't think, here. Sure. Good game, buddy. Um, we do have to make you sacrifice your guy. I'm sorry. All right, a swing oh, for no. lethal. Ay ay ay. Good game, PHB. Good game. Platinum tier, baby. Let's go. So yeah, we'll take the field of ruins out. 19 swamp, a Takanuma, and four cavern of souls, baby. Juvenis. What is good? We go first with a beautiful hand. To rest into a deep cavern bat, into a graveyard trespasser, into a Phyrexian obliterator. Sheesh. All right, we hit him with a duress. What's in that hand? It um, glimpse the core, baby. We hit him with a hello as well. I forgot to be a little cordial with it. I was too preemptive. All right, another swamp into a deep cavern bat. All right, we'll get to float some jetsum from the opponent. Just take away his turn too altogether. Cavern of Souls naming Phyrexian. We'll go ahead and get Graveyard Trespasser on the battlefield. Alright, we got a trigger. Uh what about my graveyard? Nothing. Alright, so glimpse the core here. Attack for one. Opponent's at 19, I'm at 21. Not bad at all. He does get to path to the festival or return from the wilds, or he could have some other nonsense. Create a food, search a library for a basic land, enters the battlefield, tapped. He's trying to rush out this titan. He's trying to push. Takanuma abandoned Mire. Four damage. Uh, get rid of his return from the wilds, it doesn't really matter. Second main, get down the Phyrexian Obliterator. Path to the festival, sure. Go ahead and attack. Get rid of his uh, path to the festival. What's he doing? Puts it on the top of the library. Not bad. It's now on the top of the library. So we'll get down to Liliana of the Veil. Make the opponent discard a card. I'm taking I'm tired of your secrets. We'll discard um, our own graveyard trespasser. He's probably gonna discard yep, sure. Fading hope, pretty solid little card. He's gonna get down his booger here though. Oh he's not, okay. No Titan for you. Alright, it's night now. We'll plus the Liliana. Discarding my own obliterator. Next we'll attack for five. Get rid of the opponent's uh, float some... What is it, my graveyard? Get rid of one of my uh, graveyard trespassers. A little damage to the opponent. And on the second main, get down another Phyrexian Obliterator. <laughs> Good game, baby. Good game, Juvenus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Waltzing Matilda, what is good? Opponent goes first. Um, our hand is incredibly slow and bleak. We can only hope to draw into something, and I don't want to hope. Poopy. This sucks too, though. Get rid of the uh, one of the trespassers. Okay. Creosote. Hit the opponent with a hello and draw the swamp. Draw the swamp. Okay. Green, white, Selesnia. Okay. Mm-hmm. Man, bitter triumphs, they are pretty painful, I will say. Probably worth it though, so let's just see what he does. What are you doing? Oh. Put some cards in your hand. So what did he take? A five mana thingy wingy and a, a, a and another thingy? It does things. Um, yeah, that's cute. I guess we just gotta play our graveyard trespasser. Mm -hmm. 
Get get rid of the smuggler surprise. Sure, he's up to four mana. Is he gonna do it? He's gonna do it. So he's gotta discard a card. Go ahead here. Get down to Liliana. Minus two. Hey, Liliana. And I don't appreciate it when people talk uh huh. Sack your boy. I get back, my boy. Yes, sirree. And then we get that werewolf right out of your grave. I gain a life, you lose a life. And then I end the turn. Now, let's see what Waltzing Matilda has. Let's just see. Brambling familiar. Okay, okay. Not a bad old thing. He wants this uh, Sire Armand the Redeemer down, dude. That's what he wants, let me tell you. I will right, we'll plus the lily on here. We do have to discard. We'll discard a bitter triumph. I'm tired of your secrets. Oh, he got rid. All right, next to combat. Let's see what the opponent has in mind. Get rid of the sire Armand from the grave upon the attack. Okay, next to blockers. What is he thinking? So he's gonna take the three. Go ahead, second main, get down the Preacher of the Schism here. Beautiful. Alright, he's gonna have something for us, certainly. Ah, spine with Armadillo. So he's got the Armadillo down. Well, he uses its ability, I should say. Um, he does gain three life, searches for a land, puts it into his hand. I think he's stalling for time. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six total. Sire a month, okay. Create a, a roll token. Um, no blocks. He he kills our girl. Sorry, I'm not interested in dying today. All right, we'll pay three life. Get rid of the sire a month. We do have to attack with everything here. Get rid of the sire a month. Make a 1-1, one, one, draw a card, lose a life. Play a land, get down the deep cavern bat on the second main. Oh yeah, oh he's got some stuff, baby. Three full Thunderhulk though is gonna be the pull. Snatch that right from the opponent. Okay, he plots his critter. Day becomes night. Alright, swing with the 4-4, four, four, swing with the 2-4, swing with the 1-1 one, one bat. Get rid of the Spine Woods, Armadillo. Gain a life, they lose a life. And we draw a card off the Preacher, we lose a life. Sure, is he gonna... What's he got? What are you doing? Oh, he blocks. Okay. Second main phase. Phyrexian Obliterator, baby! Please don't have a farewell. Or some sort of board wipe. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, create a little bat. Okay, what about your other thing? Yeah, you might want to do something. Add one mana of any color. Ooh, very, very cool. Get down the cavern as a Phyrexian. Okay. And this is where we pretty much just attack with everything. It's the Alpha Strike. Bramble Familiar from the grave. He loses a life. I draw a card, lose a life. Go ahead and cut down Sanguine Evangelist. He does create a little 1-1. One, one. Okay. He's got Trample. Ay ay ay. Ooh. Oh, oh, ooh, oh. Is it one? Now you gotta sacrifice a land, dude. Go ahead, Shielder. Finish him off. Good game, dude. I'm sorry, Matilda. That was mean of me to do, but... Ouch. Gimme, boy. What is good? Alright, we go first. The hand sucks. Next. This is better. Keep six. Get rid of a Liliana. Hello, the opponent. Drop a swamp and end the turn. Come on, let's go, baby. Act like you know how to play magic. Hurry the <gasps> fuck up. Okay, Takanuma as a land, get that deep cavern battle on the battlefield. What's it gonna be, baby? Oh, oh god, oh, lo oh my goodness gracious. Get rid of the Gala Greeter, dude. 
Just get rid of that Gallagrader. He's going to play a little horse. A little s s Seraphic Steed. However the f*** you say that. Um, we're going to say Phyrexian here. Get down the Liliana. Alright, minus two the Liliana. Go ahead and attack for one. We gain a life in the turn. What's it going to be, Porter? Galagriter. Plays a land, ends the turn. We'll get down a Cavern of Souls naming Vampire. Alright, we'll plus the Liliana. Oh, man. We'll discard the Preacher. Actually, we'll discard the Graveyard Trespasser. I love the Preacher of the Schism. Okay, go for the throat, the Gala Greeter. You ain't going to no gay and not tonight, baby. Inspiring Overseer, gain a life, draw a card. Please don't play a land. Good job. Alright. Get down the Preacher here. And then each player discard a card. Um, no attacks. No attacks from the bat. Let's see what the opponent's got here. Seraphic Steed. It needs to be Saddle 4. Yeah, we can block here. He does get his thing back to his hand and plays it. Alright, we'll minus the Liliana. Attack for 2. Draw a card. Hit the opponent. Uh, let's play the Duress. Let's see what the opponent's doing here. Non-creature, non-land. Oh, hell. All right, we'll play out our land. The opponent's going to be playing the Botanical Barola here. Making a treasure. Sure. Goodbye, Liliana. If we don't draw something good, we just lose, huh? Isn't okay, cool. Actually, we can't attack, right? Cut down the greeter. Hit the opponent and end the turn. Four, five, six, three, four, five. He needs seven. Draw a card. Play a land. Play out the Sheldred here. End of the turn. Two damage to the opponent. Nice. Wow. All right, bitter triumph on the Galta. Goodbye, Galta. Oops. Sorry, buddy. I ain't mean to take your win from you like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pico, what is good? Opponent goes first. Not a great hand, but we can try to keep. Drop down a swamp in the turn. Drop down a swamp in the turn. What is this? What is this? What are we doing? Me and the opponent don't even know. Okay. Sure. Uh, I'll take one damage. That's not bad. Alright, Graveyard Trespasser. He could target it, but he'll have to discard a card to do so. Professional face breaker. Sure. Four mana here. I could easily just throw down an obliterator. But instead, let's cut down his thing. Gix Yogmoth here. Go ahead and attack for three. Professional face beater. Goodbye. Draw a card. Ooh. Two Liliana's in the hand. Yucky stuff. Hey, there's a Krenko. No blocks here. Uh, I do lose three little livelies. Mm -hmm. Play a land. Go ahead and 
Let's discard a card here. Kill the Krenko. Discard a little Swampy. Okay. Next. Swing for six. Target the Krenko. They gain a life. They lose some life. They're down to nine. We will take action here. Drawing cards for days. Second main phase. Uh, Preacher of the Schism. Beautiful. I just don't think there's anything he can do. Yeah, sure, a 4-1. What is that? 4 damage? No blocks. No blocks, baby. Okay. Is that it? We just win? Just like that? Yeah, submit zero. Preacher of the Schism. Let me draw up my card and lose my life. It's a tough game. Pretty close. Oh man, Volt Charge, my baby, no! He's down to just three. Go ahead and get down the Phyrexian Obliterator and uh, duress the opponent's hand directly. Yeah, take the Koth. I don't like that card. I don't want you to get your Koth out. I want him to attack. I want to show him the sheer might of the Obliterator. Urabras Forge, a 5-1. There's that Krenko. There's the Krenko. There's that 6-1 I was looking for, baby. Ouch. So here comes 4 damage to my face. I mean, 4 damage will get through, but we're going to block this. Hold on, look, look, look. Rexian Obliterator, huh? He's only got... <laughs> Oh man, poor guy. Good game, dude. Ouch, now that's upsetting. Mm, 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 mm. Good game, buddy. What's good, Tio? All right, we go first. Hands, all right. It's keepable. Hello, the opponent. Drop that swamp in the turn. Okay, Tranquil Cove from the opponent. Go ahead, drop a swamp. Deep Cavern Bat, what's it gonna be, buddy? What is that hand doing? Yeah, get rid of the obliterator. Alright, get down Liliana of the Veil. Go ahead and uh, plus her. Each player Nobody discards. I'll get rid of the cut down. Okay, we attack here for one. Gain a life. Most importantly. Ah, morbid opportunist, I see. Alright, minus the Liliana. Get rid of that morbid booger head. Get down the shoulder of the apocalypse here. She's just a little more pressure than the obliterator. Just a little more pressure. Opponents at 17, plays the land. Airtie resurrected, okay. Destroy another target creature or planeswalker. I draw a card. Gain two life, sure. Go ahead and attack with the team. Oof, oof. So he takes the five. Go ahead and get down the obliterator. What's it gonna be, buddy? He's down to ten. Okay. The Forgotten Archangel. Whenever another non token creature you control dies, return to the battlefield. Go for the throat, the for Forgotten Archangel. Swing for pretty much lethal. Good game, Tio. Um, you just was doing too much, man. You had like a 700 card deck. I don't know what to, what to tell you. Looking over the list, beautiful stuff. Mono Black in the current meta is pretty strong. The only problems I'm actually having with this current list is my mana base. Uh, we're sitting at 24 lands. Maybe we need one additional land. You know what I mean? Maybe maybe one less cut down for one more swamp could be good. Other than that, the list is absolutely mwah, chef's kiss perfect. Uh, I give it an A+. Plus. I mean, it's a beautiful all-around deck. It only utilizes one color. Mono black, mid-range. We just came and just sliced our way through the meta. Let me know down in the comments, would you play mono black? Do you enjoy this list? If you enjoy the content, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that little bell to be notified for future videos. I'll leave my Patreon here and down in the description feel free to support the channel any way you can and stick around on the channel with some of these fine videos here and i'll see you next time peace